I told you I'm not the king of short answers. <laughs> the better question. <laughs> if I can just speak generally, my heart is burdened for um, a new kind of believer, uh, progressive Christianity, whatever you want to call it, um, that have gotten gotten off the path of of truth or it's good to challenge truth. Every professor would is a good professor to teach his student to challenge truth, to question authority, all of that. But there is the truth, and my heart is broken for the young people who aren't anchored enough yet in, in God's word um, to be able to not by this opinion and, and that turn of tide and, you know, the, the ideologies of the world. And um, so I think it's a, it's, a, it's a somber and humble responsibility for the young worship leader um, to be grounded in the word and, and to not espouse from the platform this thing, this belief that seems to be the trend, this idea that seems to be where it's at. Um, Jesus, Jesus and his message is, is what we need to be selling. And we need to not mess with the scriptures. We need to not add to it or commentate it so much that it no longer <laughs> means what, what it originally said. Um, and that's my caution, I guess, for young people, because the word will speak for itself. God will do the work. God will do the ministry, and it doesn't have to be us, whether we're wearing the right jeans or the right shoes or have the right haircut. By the way, yours is very stylish. Um, but you know what I mean? Um, Jesus is enough.